Welcome to the Trading Lounge and uh, the Commodities Report. And just looking a quick look at the US dollar, even though it doesn't have a wave count on it, we were looking for a move back to sort of retest the AD here, the major trading level, and then to work higher from here. So we're on track for that. So we should see this little bounce here correct itself in one shape or another and uh, continue to move up and we'll see the, the euro and the Australian dollar uh, move lower as well. Um, but this will obviously a higher uh, US dollar if that's the case and um, this will be confirmed once we've got support on top of 8030, the top of group one, that would separate the market from the 80 and uh, free this to go up through uh, up up higher. So um, yeah, look, placing you know extra pressure on on uh, on commodities. But let's let's just see how it goes. We want confirmation first, but just keeping tabs on it. Okay, with gold, we're seeing Portugal buy a lot of gold. Um, so, uh, but all the same, we're looking at. Um, uh, five waves up here now for the A wave up through to here. So from wave four here, we're looking for five waves up through to here. So it'll probably take us up to around uh, the uh, 13.50 as well as the next level once support is found on 13.30. Uh, uh, so this was the pretty much the alternative wave count that we've that we had, um, and I've still got two more. I've still got another wave count, but it's the same as this one basically anyway but the main point here is that we are counting five waves up through here so this strong move up here we can look at this as being the third wave up so we're looking for the top of the third which is probably in place now looking for a fourth uh, and then a fifth wave up through here a little bit higher into the 1350 you know it may go to 1356 somewhere up there let's have a look at it um yeah so obviously it's looking at um consolidating at 1340 there so uh, perhaps have a look for a nice tested support on that for intraday traders but uh, yeah definitely pushing higher from uh, from this uh, current low over here the silver markets exactly the same as well um, and looking at count this is how I've got the count here uh, so a wave four across the 2100 and looking for five waves up probably up into the 2180 uh, area and look maybe even a little bit higher as well but that 2148 uh, 2150 is what you're looking for as a nice tested support to get you up to uh, group two which would be subgroup two which is 2165 72 and 80 the copper market is being lift by the precious metals and we were looking for a top uh, in play here close to the uh, 330. Um, it appears that um, because of gold's moved up this particular move that we look at coming down through here um, is looking a bit bullish corrective now as you can see so I've had to relabel this here um, we had wave four here and a possible wave five here but I was never really happy about that because it was in three waves so we would have had to put the wave four here and it still didn't sort of match up so this is a, uh, a better picture here for wave four but at the same time, this is not a very nice looking C wave here as well. So a little bit unsure, but we'll just track this with uh, gold and silver, precious metals uh, as such. And we'll look for a high above the 330 there. So uh, yeah, look, this will prop the material sector up for another few sessions. The uh, oil market is in bearish mode, even though we're expecting a bounce. Look, this is just the weekly uh, count here. And if all goes according to plan, then we'll see this on the weekly here, a larger five-way structure to the downside. Well, even a fourth and a fifth through here, um, basically a one and a two here and a three, four, five. So coming back down to the 80 here. But first things first, we really want to see the 100 as a retested resistance, but we have good cause to pull this down like this because this move up through here has got overlapping wave structures now from this low to these highs here. So, but it would be nice if this low here was taken out. So that or uh, being under 100 there, but we'll just keep that on the back of our mind now, the supply situation 
uh, has been uh, easing and we're seeing uh, oil move even lower. So what we're looking for here from this current high here is down for one and back for two. That's that one and two here. And the third wave down, which brings us down to this current low here. So we're looking for wave four to pull back 38.2% of this whole move down through here. So that can take us up to this little high just here. Um, but we'll see how we go. I've left this um, trend line in here because it's quite normal for the, this a breaking of the trend line to be retested uh, and then rolling over from that point there. So the main trade for this really will be once this fifth wave down through here and I've put it a little bit lower here into this low here rather than on the 100. But look, we'll count five waves down from this section through here, down through here. Uh, and then we'll look for the ABC here. If we've got that, then we'll have this stronger third wave to the downside. Uh, so uh, yeah, should be a good trade. So just drilling in on that a little bit here. Yesterday we were looking for the wave, the low of wave five of three and that's uh, in play now. And it can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree, which is up here. But let's just see how we how this travels to the upside here. But we're looking for wave four and it will be corrective. It will be in three waves at minimum. Uh, and then we'll see a move down from there. The uh, grain markets are all still uh, very weak. And um, the soybean market here from the top here, we're looking down for wave one, back for wave two. And then we're looking for five waves down for wave three here at around 1200 here. And currently we're looking at in this wave two to wave three here, we've got down for wave one, back for wave two. So once again, we're looking at wave three low in here uh, at the moment. And that's how we've got it counted at the moment. So we've got wave two up here, wave one, wave two, wave three. We're looking for wave four back to the 1272 area, the wave four of one lesser degree. But it's not really getting up there. I can definitely see this is corrective here. Um, so the wave, this wave four may be in place uh, here uh, already, but we have to be a little bit careful because wave fours can get a bit complicated. And we'd expect to see something, you know, a bit larger than this one here. In fact, that wave one there could probably go over here. Um, so we may get something like this here before we see uh, a move, you know, that wave four actually completed here. Um, however, if the 1220 the pivot within group one of 1200 becomes the retested resistance then you can expect it to move down to 1200 but uh, long term uh, short traders just hold short there the wheat market uh, is also weak and what we we're looking for yesterday was a consolidation around uh, around uh, the 550 area through here and we're getting that now and we can also see that it's traded below the 550 there may be more consolidation as a little wave 4 coming in through here um, but at the end of the day once you see the 550 uh, retested as resistance then um, you'll know that we'll be dropping down to the next level which will be 530 the corn market also zooming down as well we're looking for uh, a bounce low of around the uh 380 here from yesterday uh so yeah looking still looking for that particular low here and what we're looking for here and it's not not a really good count but from wave four here we've got one two three four and we're looking at wave five moving down through to here now um as also mentioned yesterday as well all of this here could be just wave three here, putting this wave three here as such. I won't do that just yet because it's quite a nice fit the way that it is, but this would be down for one, back for two, all the third wave here, the fourth and the fifth wave moving down through here. So we're, we're looking for lows in this area through here. And if I split that down a little bit further through here on the one hour chart, this is how I've got it here. Wave four, one, two, three, four, and uh, five moving down here in terms of one, two, three, four, and five. So we could have a low in at 385, but I wouldn't hold my breath about that. The uh, momentum is still strong to the downside, but let's just sort of see, see, see how we go with this here. But if we do get support here, we would have to look at uh, the 400 being retested 
uh, the stage. The coffee market's got a short trade in play. So uh, the, we've I've readjusted the wave count here. So I've looked at this as an A and a B and a C for wave four here. Um, this wave three can also be here as well. But the main point here is that uh, we need to look at this as wave one and wave two here. In fact, wave one can also be to this point here, and this can be an A and a B and a C for wave two, not that it matters. And we're looking for wave three to move down, wave four and wave five. So we'll be looking down for 150, uh, 148, 145 area for uh, coffee to move down uh, through here. So you'll need to keep the stop for the short term above the uh, trend line here. Um, at uh, 173, you could probably put it at 167, but uh, we want to see that the group, the lower level in group two here, the 165 is a retested resistance. There'll be a bounce off 160 back to 165, and then it should fade from that point there. So anyway, just keep the stop out the way. The sugar market, we're looking for support around the 1700, as you know, because it's the 50 and 60% retracement level. We're also tracking a five wave sequence down through here, um, which, you know, we'd, we're basically looking for that low in that area there. But once again, we don't have any evidence of that so far. Um, but we're just sitting on the sidelines, just waiting uh, for that um, support at the 61.8 retracement level, the 1700 to play out. And we are looking for some type of correction here, you know, from these from these current lows here. It does appear there's a little five wave sequence here that's just about completed or completed here. So we could get the bounce from here and this spike kind of helps us out with that a little bit. But look, the main point here is we want to see a corrective move back here. Um, and we, well, we want to see if it is corrective or impulsive. And if it is corrective, then we'll look to short from the failed retest of 18 dollars here so a little way off just yet the orange juice market is um still uh sticking to the 150 area here uh the move up through here being in three waves makes this uh corrective this could just be the a wave though the b wave to here and the c wave moving up through to here we would only look to short this if the if there was a failed retest of 150 that means that if this low here was breached here then we could look to short that particular low through to here and looking down not too far down probably to the 143 area uh, such maybe 140 if we're lucky um, but as I mentioned before what we are looking for here uh, is essentially one two three four and five then the a the b and the c here and then looking to short from this point so we need this correction in here first so we, we're just waiting for this to finish the wave four which could be which can take a fair bit of time as wave force can do uh, and then the wave five should be reasonably swift like three sessions or so uh, and then the correction which will also be time consuming as well um, so it could be sort of five to ten days uh, and then uh, we'll look for a setup there so um, we we'll need to look for some dates in the future for that um, right okay well that's it uh, thanks for listening